So I've been learning to draw and paint during this time, but I've never been really good at it. But what I have always been good at is science. So I thought today I'm going to make a masterpiece using science. You may know that you can use things like lemon juice as an invisible ink and you can write messages on your paper and it'll be invisible and then you put it in the oven or you heat it up and it will turn brown and that's because the molecules in the lemon juice are burning quicker than the rest of the paper. Now today I'm going to use this lemon juice to draw a picture or more accurately use a stencil to make a picture on my paper here, I'm gonna put it in the oven and let it turn brown. And after that, I've got another chemistry method that I can use to add a little bit of color. Let's get started. Gotta make sure I keep track where I'm painting. Okay, so not the greatest masterpiece just yet. You can sort of see the bird and, and the flowers, but we've still got one more step to go because I'm going to add some red cabbage juice. And red cabbage juice is a natural pH indicator. So we can use this by adding some acids and alkalis to change the color and make this masterpiece a little bit more interesting. I have a special tool here that I'm going to use. I'm gonna roll some of that red cabbage juice all over my picture. And now what we wanna do is start using some acids and some alkalis. So we use the lemon juice. We can add little details and just get it to change color to a pinky color. We can add a little bit more. So the red cabbage will change to a pink color when you add an acid. And over time, it'll start to develop more. With our alkalis, they'll change to a greeny color. So I actually have a spray bottle. So I'm gonna get my stencil up again and see if we can just add a little bit of detail with our spray bottle. And then you can just leave it for a little bit of time and let those colors develop. So we can see that that's starting to develop really nicely. It's still quite wet. If I turn it around, we've added some color to our picture. Now here's one I prepared yesterday that's now had a bit of a chance to dry. And this was a bit of the test. So if you look really closely, you've got a little bit of the green there, and then you've got the pink, and then you've got the burnt color of that lemon juice. There are many different indicators that you can use. I just use red cabbage because it's what I had available, but I'm going to link to a chart that has different indicators that you can make at home that you can use and you get different colors for each of them. So you can test out different colors to make your masterpiece even more colorful. If you do end up making a science masterpiece, I'd love to see it. So make sure you tag me in it and thank you so much for watching.